Hello, Gemini. This is Melody from Empower Your Dreams Oracle and Tarot Edition to my channel. I am going to be doing a love read for you guys today. Um, this is going to be for the very first half of October. Um, now, do keep in mind that all my videos are timeless. So when this video does find you, it is meant for you. Also keep in mind, however, that um, this will not and cannot resonate for everybody um, within the first 10 15 minutes of pulling cards you're going to know if this reading is for you if it isn't simply click off and please check your moon rising or venus this is for your sun moon rising or venus sign now the way i do your love readings is I do one side is for your energy one side is for the person of interest energy um, typically keep this side for you and this side for your person of interest or your partner however you can reverse these roles as this is just energy that I am working with um, now what else yeah that's a base that's about it um, if you guys don't have somebody in mind just keep uh, in mind that this may be somebody that you're manifesting into your life right now. So if you like what you see, keep on doing what you're doing. If you don't like what you see, then you may need to tweak some things when it comes to manifesting. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead. I've already um, set my intentions for you, Gemini. And I've pre-shuffled. Let's get a card of what you need to surrender. What do my beautiful Geminis need to surrender for the first half of October, please? First half of October, please. Gemini. Oh, whoa, you got two out. Okay. Surrender to passion. And it reads Get out of your head and feel the fire in your belly. Focus on the people or activities that ignite your passion and let it flow. I did see in the pre-shuffle um, the second chakra, which is passion, um, and it is also creativity. So I'll put that out there for you. Uh, and the other card that you got is surrender procrastination. Hmm. So maybe you're procrastinating um, something um, creative that you're you have in the works. Um, this could also, um, you know, directly um, relate to your love um, situation or interest. Maybe you're holding off and holding back um, some feelings. It says here, now is the time to jump on a goal instead of putting it off. Take action and it will attract success. I'm just going to move this here over here so I can move. I just changed the angle of my camera here today, so I'm, I can never fit everything in. There we go. Okay, so that those are the two things that Spirit wants you to surrender for the uh, first half of October, Gemini. Let's see what's going on with your partner. Now, there will be an extended reading to this. It's going to be on Patreon and Vimeo. Vimeo, you can purchase um, the whole collection or you can purchase or rent um, the individual readings. Now, Patreon is a subscription to my work, to the insights, and you can go over there. The links are in the bottom. Surrender to divine timing is for your partner. Okay, let's see what else. What else for Gemini's partner, please? Ooh, that is way too many. Overthinking and worry wanted to show itself. What else? Just one, please. Gemini's partner. Ooh. I got two. Just one, please, Spirit. I already have one. What's one thing? One more thing. Gemini's person of interest. There we go. Surrender to miracles. Wow. 
Surrender to miracles and then surrender to divine timing. Beautiful. So I'll read those for you. It says, surrender to divine timing. Sometimes divine timing may offer from your ego's timing. If a goal isn't manifesting fast enough, according, according to your ego, be patient and trust and trust the universal flow. So yeah, so when it comes to the universe and divine and spirit, there really is no such thing as time, okay? Um, and that speaks of this. I'm gonna pull this up just a bit. There, I think that's much better. Um, yeah, so just keep that in mind, that um, letting go of uh, a time frame on things, okay? Because that's a block. Um, for the cross watcher or again this could be you and energies can flow in and out of these reads we all have divine um, we all have feminine we all have masculine energy okay now it, this here says be open to miracles occurring in your life feel and know that these events are real let go of any resistance and banish any doubt that miracles can happen and I think that ties in very well with this um, surrender to divine timing it's kind of letting go that um, even if things aren't working um, out as you wish right now in this time that miracles can still come in Okay, put those away. Okay, so if the reading goes in the, the direction of a very positive outcome, then I will be using on the extended the Tarot of Sexual Magic. Okay, I'm going to set those aside for now. Let's jump into your actual reading now. Let's see, I'm going to do one side for you guys. I'll pull a few oracle cards. I like to work with the oracle for the overall energies. And I'm going to pull a moonology card for the focus of this reading for the two of you. Okay, Spirit, what do we have for Gemini, please? Gemini for love, first half of October. What do we have for our beautiful Geminis, please? Overall energy for this love read between these two. Overall energy for this love read. Oh, there it is. You are very close to achieving your goals. Or goal. Oh, we have three of them. You're very close to achieving your goal. Wow, what a beautiful picture that is. Hmm, we have the full moon coming up in Aries. I believe it's on the 13th, don't quote me. Um, you know, you could have some things come to um, fruition around that time, just because I am seeing the full moon here. It's actually a Gibson moon, but it reminds me of the full moon. I'll put this here like this. I don't usually pull more than two. I'm going to pull the first two for you. Confidence is your key to success. New moon in Leo. So you or your partner could be um, a Leo or have some kind of fire in your chart or Leo in your chart. But the confidence is key to success. Confidence. And I, I'm being drawn to this procrastination and surrender to the passion you know once you surrender to these things and have the confidence to move forward that's when you're going to see more movement um, in your outcomes here okay I just have to be careful with these candles I had a card almost go up on me the other day I think they're okay just like that okay so let's pull some overall energy I'm gonna pull the overall energy for you when it comes to this connection I'll stick the 
goes back. We're not my way. Okay. What uh, what is Gemini's overall energy when it comes to this connection, please? What's the overall energy when it comes to this connection, please, for love? First, mm, by the book. Eleven is a magic number. What's the overall heart space when it comes to this relationship, please? Overall heart space when it comes to this. Change in the wind. Somebody may be waiting on something. There's somebody in this picture waiting for the for some tables to turn is what I'm feeling. Um, okay, let's see. What is going on currently? What's going on currently? Um, in the 3D space when it comes to this relation. Whoa, that's too many. <laughs> oh, what's going on currently, please, when it comes to this connection? Oh, we have loyal heart on the bottom. That's beautiful. What's going on in the 3D, please, for the Gemini? Or this side? one at a time. That was chop wood and regeneration. Let's see what else do I have for Gemini, please. Just one at a time, please, sir. Milk and honey. So the book in, in this particular deck um, doesn't call for reversals when it is to do with a relationship. However, from time to time, you may see me read them in reverse, and it's just the way that I, I work with spirit. Um, I have a sense that I'm supposed to read something a certain way, then that's how I read it. I have a relationship with all my decks too, so kind of the way it works. Now, what's going on in the 5D? What what is um, this person's higher self um, trying to tell them about this connection? What's hmm, deep knowing? Use your intuition. Okay. Wow. I'm just trying to pull the energy here. I think I'm going to get your car, uh, your person of interest, or this side's um, energy first. So, spirit, what do we have for Gemini's person of interest, please? Or this side of the coin? What's going on in this side here? What's going on this side here, please? For love, first two weeks of October. When it comes to the Gemini read. What's going on with this person here overall? The thinking man came out first. I'm just going to take one at a time. What's in their heart space, please? What's in their heart space when it comes to this connection? What's in this person's heart space, please? being quiet this person <laughs> what is in this individual's heart space please hear it. so a couple chakras want to show this is the um the seventh chakra so the the um crown chakra they're coming up in reverse my whole deck most of them are upright my ears are ringing, so they're supposed to be in reverse. Um, I'll go over these in a minute. Okay, let's get um, a few more cards. Let's get uh, what's going on in their 3D space. Oh, door to spirit. What's going on in their 5D space? What's their higher self trying to tell them about this connection? Mm, caring connection. 
beautiful somebody may, may be feeling a little tied up a little um, either restricted or I'm getting stuck in their head with this thinking man that is in reverse the thinking man can be somebody coming in to help you I also take this as like manifesting um, just because he has this um, crystal and it's like he's it's like he's creating it um, in his in his hand or he's using it um, for magic or using it for for these powers of um, creating is what I get a lot with that card it is in reverse so I'm feeling that this person is stuck in their head a little bit and that's their overall energy and that they're they're feeling um, res either restricted or I don't want to use the word trapped like that seems a little too strong of a word um, because their side is doesn't feel that that much like constraint on them but it, it feels like almost like a false impression of being stuck there we go yeah that's how I'm feeling let's see what's on the bottom poised standing your ground just being very this person's very happy liberated I'm getting the word liberated Okay, so we have by the book, uh, a change in the wind, milk and honey, and a deep knowing. It, very beautiful um, cards so far. I'm gonna pull some overall energies for the shared energy. I use these here. Where can we get some shared energy, please? What's the shared energy when it comes to this love connection? What's the shared energy, please? It, it very much seems like there's definitely love here with this caring connection on this side and milk and honey on this side in the 3d um this could be some this could be a couple this could be you guys could be already together for some time um you could be living together you could be um just starting things out or your feelings are just very much the same there's there's some hesitation here in some sort of area and we'll dive in a little deeper here but let's see what's going on with Gemini and their person of interest please when it comes to this connection what's the shared energy please what's their shared energy please Mark? Oh, that is a lot of cards. It's <laughs> like, yeah, too many cards there. I'm gonna give this one more shuffle too, please. Feeling pulled to shuffle this again. Sorry, guys. Okay, let's try this again. What is the overall combined or shared energy between these two? You know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ask something else. I, I'm feeling pulled to ask what direction is this connection going in? What's the direction? What's the direction of this? Unexpected visitors in reverse. I may have to look that one up. That's a five. It means change. Making a choice is in reverse and education.
What's the direction, please? Goblins. What's the direction? cards here. Magic stream. Commitment in reverse. And bone collector. I think there's some hesitation here. If it's it, either there's um, a pause in if you guys are together there may be some sort of Hold up. I'm getting lightheaded, so I feel that's right. Um, and if you're not in union yet, there's still some work that needs to be done. Somebody's waiting for a change in the wind. Somebody's over here thinking, and this commitment card is in reverse. We do have love. Let's see what's going on. A balancing act. And what else? One more, please, Spirit. The direction of this love connection. Of course, I, I just want one. That's three. Let's get one card, please. Slow and steady is on the bottom. So either the relationship's moving slow or the union itself is taking some time. Just one more, please, Spirit. The direction. There we go. There it is. Solitude. Somebody's coming out of this funk, though. Um, somebody's been dealing with some, a little bit of a dark side. I wouldn't say dark, just things that are creeping up maybe from the past. I have this balance, balancing act, and for me as a reader, this is a very thin line to be um, traveling. You can see that this... Um, ship is on a bubble on this tightrope and uh, it is on a master number 11 this is this to me as a reader because of the hearts is like a very thin line when it comes to love um and paired with this goblin card there could be something that's creeping up either from the past um but it does it is in reverse so it it does look like they're they're starting to bring some balance in to whatever this may be. But I do feel that these two cards are connected. Yeah, my ears are ringing. I feel that somebody has had, I feel that these three cards are, I, okay, I, I feel I'm pulling this the energy here. Um, I feel that in the past, there has been people popping up, unexpected vi visitors. It is now in reverse, and I feel like whatever that is, is being laid to rest um, with this Goblin's card. Because it is now in reverse, and five, a four and a one is change. It breaks down to a five. I feel that some, it feels like somebody's been watching this relationship. Could be an ex. I feel that it was, if it was, if it was third party, that that has now ended with this in reverse and the balancing act in reverse and making a choice now is in reverse. They had the two doors to go through, and I feel now that they've chosen that door with it being in reverse. And I think that's what was holding up this commitment. They may be still healing from this. They or you, again, this is kind of the direction of the storyline. I feel like somebody is studying. We 
we have this education card and then we have this thinking man Somebody could be studying um, something to do with their spirituality. Um, it could be about spirituality of this connection. Somebody could, in this connection could think that this is a soulmate, a twin flame sort of um, connection, divine counterpart, or you both do uh, and you're both studying uh, what that is. You could be studying how to manifest, how to manifest with this crown chakra that is in reverse. It could be studying on how to be awakened, how to um, yeah, I'm feeling I'm feeling strongly that this has to do with um, spirituality and or um, the connection itself very strongly on this side. But again, it could be both, especially if it's a spiritual connection that you guys would reflect each other and you would help each other on this journey some way or another. And there could have been a separation at some point because of these um, balancing act, making a choice, the unexpected visitor and the goblins. Somebody really had to go within with this solitude card to put this relationship in the right direction again whether you were together already and you've separated or you've worked through it or this is you know hasn't come into union yet or just has this is a general read guys so it's not going to resonate exactly with everybody so just take the bits that will and pass along the rest or maybe i'm just not your reader for today or check your uh, moon rising or venus signs the magic stream is here the ability to have beautiful things nine is wish from fulfillment the number nine here and the number one is new beginnings i feel that um this bone collector is in reverse and I just want to, I have to clarify something with that one because I've only actually ever gotten it upright and I, yeah, I think being in reverse, somebody is, okay, I'm going to read this one, but I do feel that it has to do with healing. And I did mention that already, that I feel that there may be some healing that needs to be done. But I'll read this. Um, and it could have some connection with the stagnant um, and this energy of being unbalanced and making choices. Let's see what it says. The past has a way of repeating itself when you haven't learned the lesson inherent, uh, inherent in in original in the original situation you're faced with now the bone collector is here to change sorry to challenge you to see, to see yourself whole being and not one who is perpetually trying to heal an old wound you repeat the past if you don't reclaim things you believe were lost hmm could be the end of some karmic cycles here Yeah, the information you seek lies in your history, familiar, familiarity, sorry guys, in this case isn't an invitation to dance, the old dance once again. Okay, so looking back into your history but not repeating it, instead it is called to retreat and choose differently. 
the bone collector has a message. If you do not, sorry, if you do what you did, you will get what you got. Her warning is delivered with kindness for she is, she has deep love and respect for you. She will protect you. So there is some guidance coming in. Um, you're being protected. Whoever's feeling this way, it could be both of you. Um, but so if, if you're in a relationship, not having that um, same negative patterns happen over and over again, or those small little fights that may and quarrels that may happen, it's time to look at the past, okay, and learn from it. Don't repeat the cycle. And if this is a karmic situation with somebody else, either in this relationship or in this union coming together, um, yeah, they're being watched over and they're really trying to get into their own head, like kind of like get into it, but get out of their own head, if you know what I mean. Like get out of that negative thinking pattern, but, you know, enlighten themselves and start using their intuition, right? Yeah, I'm feeling very lightheaded and dizzy, so I feel whoever I'm connecting with right now, um, this will be resonating. Again, guys, it's a general read. But yeah, taking that time to go within and really start to pull, um, keep a journal if you have to, of, you know, the things that have happened and, you know, say, okay, well, this happened. Well, how can I change either my reaction to that situation when it comes up again? Or how can I um, take action, you know? to move in a different direction peacefully, right? So this side here is very by the book. Um, and it could be, could be why they're, they're having a hard time to surrender their passion. If this has to do with work, okay, um, then I really feel that um, you're having a hard time to go towards whatever this creative passionate side is and that's why you're procrastinating because you're very um by the book and that just whatever it is that you're thinking about doing and creating it's just doesn't seem maybe perfect on paper or um it's like totally out of left field of what you're doing now um but this is spirit saying surrender to that. And if you have a passion for something, you know, go for it. I'm not here to say leave your job, okay? I'm just passing the messages that are coming through. Um, you know, you can do this as a side hustle. You can do it as, you know, something that you're just passion passionate about and building it on the side. Um, maybe, maybe this isn't somebody that you would normally consider yourself uh, match for but surrender to those thoughts is what I'm hearing it, it seems that you're you're looking for this change to come in though change in the wind it says change in direction and I feel like this is you waiting up here in this little gazebo that's on this zebra And right now, it just seems like you're going it round and round and round in directions. These leaves are spinning around and around and around this gazebo. And maybe it's just that you want the wind to die down. You want the direction. I'm, fe I'm feeling that you want the direction to be chosen. That's what I'm getting strongly with this card right now that you want this commitment to be made. You want him or her to walk through that door to you so that you're not spinning and spinning and spinning anymore. And that's in your heart space. So maybe your heart's feeling a little upside down at the moment. But in the 3D, it looks like there's, you have the milk and honey card. So this is kind of like the Ten of Cups where you're, you have, you know, 
beautiful things to celebrate. This elephant's just like swimming <laughs> in this bowl of milk and honey and the, the beautiful rainbow. And you have somebody, you know, looking down over you. The six is balance. So this could be that in the 3D, you're seeking that balance or it's physically coming into fruition. But your heart still feels a little tipsy turvy. Maybe they're showing you um, in physical, but maybe you feel their heart is still somewhere else, is what I'm getting with these two cards being in heart space in 3D. But spirit is asking you to really listen to your intuition. Um, we have the owl here. The owl is very, very wise. Um, four and three is a seven. Seven is um, spirit watching over you, divinely guided, um, looking within an intuition. So you have this deep knowing of what this relationship really is, and it is time to really tap into that. Okay, so I think um, I in the extended, I'm going to go over um, these cards here, the surrender to passion and uh, procrastination, and then the divine timing and the miracles as well. It's very fitting to each side how they've come down. Um, this person is really trying to let spirit in. Um, and letting go of uh, that time frame of what their ego wants. And it's they're trying to open up to this possibility of this going further if you're already together. Maybe it could be even further as in a spiritual journey together on the same path. Or it could be um, just to come into union. They're really surrendering to the miracle that, you know, good things do exist. But I think the overall message like we have here, confidence is your key to success. Okay. And you both are very close to achieving this goal. Like I said, this these cards are in reverse. I feel if there's any habits or hang-ups that have been holding this relationship back or third party or anything that just kind of is was intervening and kind of buggering things up. I believe that they are now being put to rest. This person's coming out of this sol solitude um, and or both of you are coming out of this um, part where you've been kind of going within to really figure out what it is you want and what direction to go. So we're already 30 some minutes in, so I'm going to take this to the extended now. Um, but before we go, I am going to pull a message from spirit. When we go to the extended, I'm going to get a message from your person of interest. Um, and I'll do so with these cards. Um, most certainly I will be doing the uh, tarot of sexual magic because there's definitely a love connection here. I don't do that with all signs if I feel that there's any toxic um, kind of energy here. I feel that there's love though. Okay, I'll be clarifying these cards. I want to know what, what what's the block in this connection. I'm going to ask what the block is. I'm going to ask what this change is that you want to come in. Um, what these goblins are and what um, this choice was about. And this balancing act. And what it is spirit really wants you to do and focus on. Because there's... They're telling you here to use your intuition. Okay, spirit, so what's going on? Um, can we get a message, please? An overall message for Gemini. Let's see what we have for you. What's going on here? What would you like to tell them? 
anything from this deck, please. <laughs> These cards are so hard to hold. What would you like to tell? What message would you like? I'll be getting additional messages to close out the um, reading and extend it if we have time. Being pulled to this card. Be generous of spirit. Be generous of spirit, lions, spirit. So we have two lions on the ground. Strong Leo presence here, fire energy um, with the lion here as well. Confidence in your key to success. So maybe you have Leo in your chart or your person does. I'll get one more for you. Be generous of your spirit. So be generous to spirit. Be generous of um, what you have and hold within. And listen. Listen is what I'm getting. Okay, we have two more here. Turn your knowledge into wisdom. I feel it has something to do with this education card, um, the studying of, you know, spirituality, this connection. Maybe that's your passion. Maybe your passion is to share this journey. Um, and then it says, Bobcat Spirit, life is a mystery. So some things you won't know, some things Spirit wants. Um, you know, we're not going to know everything. We have to figure things out for ourselves. Okay, guys, so that is this portion of the read. You can join me on the extended. The links are in the bottom for Vimeo and for Patreon. Patreon is a monthly subscription at a, a lesser fee, or you can go over to Vimeo and you can see the price points there. I did try to keep them fairly low. Okay, everyone, thank you so much for joining me. Much love, light, and laughter, and stay empowered.